Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at a Carrier Performance 4-ton compact AC condenser that we just installed. I'm going to walk you through the installation that we just did, show you some things, discuss uh, the features and benefits of this system. As always, please like and subscribe to this channel for more information about Carrier systems just like this. If you have any questions make sure you leave those in the section in the comments section below i'll get back to you on those and if you're in the orange county california area and would like an estimate on a system like this or anything else that carrier makes give us a call at 714-526-6368 or you can email me at albertairinc uh, at gmail.com so let's get right into this system like i said this is a four ton uh, carrier performance series compact AC condenser. Um, this is the slimline unit. So it, it's very compact. And the system that was here before, I'll try to show you the footprint. You can see this outline on the ground. They had a square condenser here before. That condenser had a leak in the coil. So they just wanted to change out just the condenser outside. So we were able to do that because the furnace was still good and the evaporator coil was still good and it uses the R410A refrigerant which this particular condenser is also R410A. So we opted to go for the slimmer line or the slimline condenser because of its compact design. It would fit better in here. They do have another unit over there that is a heat pump package unit that serves a, a different area of the house and we wanted to make sure we had enough access for everything. Um, so this condenser is going to be a lot more efficient than the old one. Uh, the old one was around a 2009, um, and it was probably around 13 sear at that time. This new one is 15.8 sear 2, so it will be more efficient by probably about 30% over the old one. Um, this condenser also has a variable speed compressor that makes it extremely quiet. The older condenser was uh, a single stage unit probably in the high 80s in terms of decibels, where this one uh, is around 59 on the decibels. So it's gonna be a lot quieter. Uh, it is up here on a roof, so we don't hear it as much, but you do, you know, you have some reverberation in this area down here. We wanna make sure that it's quiet and the customer really liked that too. They actually have this at another one of their houses and that's why they opted to go with this condenser again at this property. Um, this condenser um, also, uh, has the two fans on it because it is a four ton in size. So the four ton and the five ton will both have the dual fans. Um, the dimensions on the unit are gonna be 37 inches width, 16.5 depth, and then from bottom to top, it's 52 inches tall. Um, so the four and five ton models will both be like that. If you were to go down to a three ton, two and a half, two ton, or one and a half ton model, they are just the single fan models. Um, this unit does use R410A refrigerant, which they will be able to, we'll be able to install R410A systems uh, through 2025 as long as they're available. Then they will go over to the new refrigerant, the R454B, which is a little different. They're going to have some new model numbers, some new efficiencies. Uh, in this particular unit, they will have some different size options. Uh, depending on if you're a three ton, a four ton, or five ton, there'll be different dimensions and different efficiencies for them. So please watch out for the videos I start doing on those towards the end of the year and early next year. Uh, I'll be doing a lot of videos on the R454B systems. Um, this system also uh, used the same size breaker as the old one. So it was a 50 amp circuit breaker for the old system. Same with this, uh, 50 amp fuses in the disconnect. Um, down here where the refrigerant lines attach, we wrap those in a nice UV wrap. Um, those come all the way from around over there. Um, you can see that we bolted everything down to the pad here so it stays nice and, and safe so it won't rock or anything. Um, and you can hear how quiet it is. Right now we just turned it on about a half hour ago. It's cooling the house and uh, it's running at that 59 decibels on this high speed. So this is a very, very popular unit. We do a lot of them. Uh, and the reason is it's versatility. It has a very compact design, very quiet operation, and it has a very good efficiency. So it kind of fits the needs and wants of a lot of our customers. Um, 
you know, if you have a house with a side yard that's only five feet wide, this is a perfect solution because it only really sits from the wall here off to here. It's about 21 to 22 inches. You do want to leave a minimum of four inches behind the unit for airflow. But manufacturer specs are going to be four inches off the wall minimum. Sometimes we put them a little further though. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more information about units like this. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos in the future about other units. Thank you.